fake electors. If you are a customer of the corporate news media, you are probably being inundated 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, with news stories on Donald Trump's fake electors. These evildoers were going to overturn the election on January 6, 2021. What this has to do with a handful of rioters, they never explain. But the implication is Donald Trump will soon be indicted once again by an all-Democrat legal system to prevent him from running for president in 2024. A few years ago, I made a parody video where I had video footage of Donald Trump's children calling for electors to change their vote from Joe Biden to Donald Trump. And this was a big hit for me. It had, what, 100 views? Well, that's a big hit for me. But I cited as it a video from Martin Sheen and a bunch of actors from MASH who told the electors in the 2016 presidential election to violate federal election law and not nominate Donald Trump. Here was the video at the time. A message for electors to unite for America. Let's take a look at the video link. Oh, look at that. The people who put up the video took it down. Why? Because the Democrat news media has endless news stories about Donald Trump trying to create an insurrection with fake electors. And you can't show that footage of electors being told to break the law in 2016 by loyal Democrats. So the video was taken down by those who put it up. Let's take a look at the video itself. Republican members of the Electoral College, this message is for you. As you know, our founding fathers built the Electoral College to safeguard the American people from the dangers of the Democrats. Why would they take this video down? Oh, that's right. Democrats routinely lie. They don't want you to see their attempt to subvert the 2016 presidential election. They don't want you to see their attempt to incite insurrection. They don't want you to see their attempt to rig the election for the Democratic Party. You and just 36 other conscientious Republican electors can make a difference by voting your conscience on December 19th and thereby shaping the future of our nation. Thanks, Saul. You to vote for Hillary Clinton? I'm not asking you to vote for Hillary Clinton. I'm not asking you to vote for Hillary Clinton. As you know, the Constitution needs electors to elect to vote for any public any eligible person, no matter which party they belong to. But it should certainly be someone you consider especially competent. Especially Hillary Clinton's competent? She tried to rig the 2016 election, and she still lost. Your conscience, you and other brave Republican electors can give the House of Representatives... You're asking them to commit insurrection. Why aren't you the bad guys in 2023? No wonder you deleted your own video, Hollywood. I stand with you in support and solidarity with conservatives. Yep, gotta delete this video, Hollywood. No one can see this. The American people trust that your voice speaks for us all. And that you, you will make yourself heard through the constitutional responsibility granted to you by Alexander Hamilton himself. What is evident is that Donald Trump lacks more than the qualifications to be president. And therefore, we have to override the will of the voters in 2016. That's the message from Hollywood elites. The voters cannot be trusted to select their own president. That's the attitude of Hollywood in 2016 and in 2023. The arrogance, the lack of principles, the lack of respect for the rule of law, all on display here by the elites of the Democratic Party. All they support is power, not America.